Villa, run. Come on, please. Please run, Villa. Oh, no, Villa. No, 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 no. Zen, activate the scanner and put it on the main screen. That's is that going to be what descri is described in Callie's like fairy tales or whatever she said, right? Zen, lock onto approaching target. Confirm. That's Miller. The hell is that? No. Whatever it was, it knocked out our scanner. Backup scanner Shit. activated. And that one's going to get destroyed by the same thing. It had a sort of claw. Designed to tear things apart. Spacecraft, for example. Like the bit, bits of stuff. We can deep freeze his body until we're back into space, where we can give him a decent star orbit burial. No! Assuming we ever get back into space. Like, I know somehow Villa comes back, but... What the fuck is it controlling him? Orak was absolutely right when he said that space had ceased to exist outside the ship. This place has too? a breathable atmosphere. Oh, okay, he's still alive. I'm so glad. I'm <laughs> shows that all the Herculaneum alloy in the component has been drained away. This accounts for the component's low tensile strength. All the naturally occurring minerals okay. are present, with the exception Herculane of Herculaneum. It's drawn out Herculaneum. Herculaneum is the strongest known metal in the universe. Correct. Okay. The Liberator's outer skin is fabricated. That's why they've drawn it in. Shit. All right, what have you called? So whoever or whatever runs this place hauled the Liberator in here to melt it down for scrap. Oh, Orak, you idiot. We are dealing with a highly advanced technology. Orak is pissing me off this episode. He's caused all of this. Stand by, Dana. Something nasty this way comes. <laughs> all the energy is draining from the banks. The blasters are useless. They should not have sent... It seems that this crude device is intended to frighten primitive people. I was going to say, that would confuse the heck out of me. See if it thinks our neutron blast are primitive. It's been neutralised. Yeah, the neutron blast has been... Okay. What the fuck? Is there someone in that? This is so weird. It's a weird, like, handheld situation then, almost. Just going... Are you trying to corral them somewhere? Or is it after Cali? And I've just noticed the red leather. Welcome um, to Crandor, my friends. What? Amongst other things, it is my duty as the Lord Tharn's chief executive to negotiate a purchase price for your ship. Nope, not fucking getting it. We Fuck her off. usually use this for rounding up runaway slaves. Again, you can really get lost if you're having slaves. Fuck you. I do hope you understand. We don't understand anything. No. Of course, my friends. I'm so confused. You will come with me, and all will be made clear. No, fuck off. No one moves. Any explaining will be done here. I'm with Taryn on that one. Oh, Nuran Wick? Oh my god. Oh, I'm definitely going to be taking that noise out of there because, God, that hurt my head. But then, you've already had an effective demonstration of the Lord Than's powers while aboard your spacecraft. Which to well, us is that they did, yes. a thousand cubic cobars of much-needed Herculaneum alloy. But we must see that you get a fair price for it. Double the normal slave rations until the debt is discharged. You may keep your handguns and bangles if it makes you feel happier. All right, what have you done? You Only need oh, the right. technology of the Lord Than prevails on Crandor. Orak needs to get them out of this. Come on, Dana. How did you get aboard? Are you the one that they call Kali? No. Are you the one that they call Kali? No. The Lord Tharn is most anxious to meet you. My name is Dana. Kali is with the others. Very well. Dana, come with me. Orak, what the hell have you done? I'll be the Lord careful, Dana. Khan sensed the presence of another aboard this ship. One called Orak. There is no other human or life form. There is no person of that name aboard this ship. 
Not technically lying, because he's not a person. The technology of the Lord Tharn. The Tharn is a myth. You think this cell is a myth? Yeah. Tell us about the Tharn, Kelly. Yeah, it's the anything. story in the Book of Aaron. Well, let's hear it. You never know, you might get something, might be based in truth. A lot of mythies. The gods returned. They were no older, even though a million years had passed. Not uh -huh. impossible. If they had a spaceship capable of travelling at near the speed Or of lived light. here. I did say it was just a legend. They could have lived here, I guess, and that might have changed time and space and that. He was frightened they would one day become so powerful they would challenge the supremacy of the gods themselves. The and in his rage, he killed another god. The five remaining gods were so angry they built a chariot for him and sent him beyond the threshold of space and time. To here! So, you're Kelly. You are honored, child. The Lord Tharn wishes to see you. She stays with us. Hey, you fucking watch it. There is a member of your crew we cannot find. Orak. Where is he? The neuronic whip is on an automatic setting. It has only to sense one lie and it will boil your brains in your skull. Just selective truth, kind of like what Dana said. No human is a... of that. A dwarf? We never think of him as one. What is the nah. colour of his hair? <laughs> he hasn't got any. A bald dwarf shouldn't be too hard to find. Again, selective lying. I like that. I will instruct the slave masters to organise search parties. Oh, again. Not lying. Selective truth. All right, what the fuck have you done? We will communicate by direct sensory link. Yes. Confirmed. Oh, Orak. What have you done? What the hell? Is your mask on that guy? What the fuck? Huh? This is where you'll be working. Provided you're as Why? good at dynamic flux mathematics as you say you are. It was one of my best subjects at the Federation Space Academy. Not lying. This is the very nerve center of the Lord Tharn's great plan. Uh -huh. A gravity generator control room. Okay. And what is his great plan? To become master of the universe. Yeah, like, like the stories the myth said. There will be vast estates and incalculable wealth for all of us. No, it won't. Will you cooperate? No, he's just using you. He's going to kill you all. Graphite writing stick. I've never seen these things outside museums. <laughs> Start work on what? Yeah. On the calculations, of course. Okay. See, we have thousands of unsolved dynamic flux equations. Okay. Simple enough, but they take time. Why not use calculators or computers? Yeah. And as you can see, it is better designed for pressing buttons and holding writing implements. So why can't we use computers? But you know, he's got to tell the truth. The Lord Tharn will not permit that development on Crandor. Okay. We are no superior intellect to his. Why not? I don't know. It is better not to ask such questions. Perhaps he had an unfortunate experience with a computer. Haven't we all? <laughs> I am not a traitor. One has to make a new life here. You have no choice. Then how did you come to be here? The same way as you. We lost control over our ship and the gravity generator. Same with everyone. Does it generate a beam or a total field? You know, they know we he can't lie. We need to know that if we are to work on these equations. And the new shields require a great deal of Herculaneum if the power is to be increased. And the uh -huh. design of the shields require the answer to many equations. You had a family on some of them. Yeah. I feel sorry for this guy. He's being used like the others. The Caliph was sent out a salvage team to slice it up. Very soon Shit. your ship will be no more than a pile of scrap metal. What the hell are they going to do to get out of this? They really are cutting it up. I would strongly advise against going too near that. I must warn you. Oh, it's the defense mechanism. I forgot about that. Please, gentlemen, I must earnestly implore you not to come in. No, don't. Up. It is extremely dangerous. Let them happen. Let it happen. Good. Can they do it a bit to Aurak as well, please? Really fucking annoyed. Fascinating. Really, Aurak? Really? They're gonna think Aurak, the Aurak, the little humanite person, is somewhere, right? I needed you, and 
and you came. Because you gave me no bloody choice. I've been alone with my plans for so long, Callie. Is he just like energy, maybe? But He's no not like a physical being. Now. He's energy or something, maybe. Like those panels. And the great universal force that controls the universe is gravity. It's darn. The orbit of the planet. A computer? I'm so confused. I'm intrigued. He who controls gravity controls everything. I can understand that, I guess. We will be the rulers of the universe, Callie. No. Why does he need her, though? Like, I know, like, the hour on, like, history, story and all that. But why does he need her if he was one that didn't like her? Or he didn't like the Aurons. He didn't think they deserved it. And he was evil. Why does he need her? I'm so alone. I need you. So alone. Sleep now. Okay? Where is... Decide Sorry, has he got a physical being? A physical body? Or does he need to take one over? How can they rule together if he's just energy? I'm so fucking confused. Oh, there's the thing. Guy, Caleb, was it? Oh, no. You tell me what it is you have aboard your ship. Otherwise, you will be dead in three seconds. I don't know what you're talking about. Two men sent to smash the Liberator have been found Good dead. person to ask. Liberator? Was it Orak that killed them? He didn't know. He literally doesn't know because he never saw that. He was not an original member of the crew. Right person asked. They said it was invincible. Propaganda that we find useful. Yeah. Escape is impossible. You can figure it out. The isolators are on. Your handguns won't work. Turn them off then. Would collapse the floor beneath the Liberator. Yeah. And allow her to fall out into free space. It would weaken the atomic structure of the floor. It's the same way you came in. I recognize this guy. It's weirding me out. Would cause Crandor to disintegrate. Worse than that, it would blow up. Okay. In reverse. Oh, that's that weird. Is why only the Lord Tarn has control over the energy Oh, uh, so they're going to have to rely on Callie to do that, I think. So weird. Yes, fuck off. I don't my decision. Fuck off. Yes, I'd rather Tarn. die. Or is he taking her over? The universe together. Or is she using him for now? How can I be sure that I'm making the decision of my own free will? It's only the energy isolators, Cathy. Come on, Callie. They have no effect on your free will. I promise. I wouldn't trust his fucking promises. Switch off the energy isolators, then I can find out for myself. Good point. She should try in. Your feelings are no different. <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on, Callie. Do some. It's done something. Isolators have been switched off. Yes. Get to the others. Get back to your ship quickly. What about and you? you? Everybody Have your else. Get but if you yeah, could tell them my family, they were always in my thoughts. We'll tell them, Dov. What about the rest of them? What about all the other people? Get them out of there too, for fuck's sake! I'm trying to take everyone. Is he gonna hold it? Oh, don't kill Graw! No, come on, Graw, kick ass! Come on, Graw. I'll catch you. Oh, whoa! Okay, this episode's gone quick. I didn't realise there was so little time left. You better not fucking leave without her. Don't you dare leave without Callie. No, Callie! Stay away, I beg you. You mustn't see me. Is there like the Wizard of Oz? I have to see you if I am to kill you. Oh, is it like the Wizard of Oz? What? So very high. What the hell? Come on, Groff, kick his ass. You got it. Come on, Groff, you can do it. Groff? They can't leave without Callie. Does that hurt? Yes. Oh, I feel so sorry for Groff. I 
feel so sorry for Graf. Poor guy. How about all the other people? Main drive, standing by. Come on. This episode went quick. The ship is now in free space. Main drive activated. Can we leave Gorak switched off for a while, please? Please, please. Detectors indicate that a small spacecraft has left object centered on main screen really? and is flying on a reciprocal course. The other that people? Must be the Tharn. What did he look like? I never saw him. A bit difficult. No! Oh, he pushed through it. Good on him. He allowed everybody else to get out. Oh. He sacrificed himself for everybody else to get out. I like that. But the Tharn could come back. Which is interesting. That was freaking weird. But now he's not in that space anymore. Is it going to happen? So, the Lord Tharn escaped. I suspect we have made another enemy. Add it to a long list. A pity. A pity. It is intolerable. There is insufficient room in the galaxy for his intellect and... Turn him off, please, Tarrant. He didn't like computers. <laughs> Course for Zarada laid in. Thank you, Zen. <laughs> okay, I like that. Oh, just leave Orak off for a while. It's his fault they're there. It's his fault they've got that close. Okay, that... Tarrant, I like that there's conflict, but I don't like that Tarrant is in like putting his authority forward already. Like he should prove himself, make let others trust him. And now he's just taken over. <laughs> no, but like I don't like that aspect, but I like other aspects. But it's, I'm really not sure on Tarrant. I, I'm really not. Nothing against the actor. The actor's all right. It's just, I don't know, I'm not liking on the character so far. I, there was little aspects of that I like. But, like, I don't know. I really don't know about him. I really don't know how I feel. But, like, in a one situation, when he was putting on the spacesuit, I would have been. I, I honestly, I, if if you think if in that situation you think everybody else is dead, I would say, but at least one person should get out. And I was like, no, we all go down. Is that off? No, like I, I like the fact we got conflict on that. I like there's not an automatic leader. Although I would have been fine with anyone being leader, and like. Conflict between Avon, Callie, and even Villa. But Dana and Tarrant should prove themselves first. Yeah, Dana's not challenging for command or anything like that, but Tarrant needs to fucking prove. They really should not have added the, at least him to it. Yeah, but yeah, they need to leave Orak switched off. They need to keep him switched off for a while because he's getting. Too fucking cocky. Oh my god. If it wasn't for him, they would have not got that close. They would have not got that close. But I love the fact we got more stuff from Aaron. More parts of Callie's history. That was a good episode for Callie. That was good. Pretty much everyone had something to do then. Like, I'd say out of everyone, like Dana was the least amount of me, but even she had a lot, quite a bit to do. That was like, Everybody had stuff to do, like, like interactions between Avon and Tarrant are good. Like the actors like work well together type thing. And I'm interested to see like their like power not I wouldn't say power struggle, I don't know. But I it's in it's gonna be interesting to hear how that aspect develops. But I'll take it like at the moment, take Avon any day over that. It's like I've said before, everyone cares in his own way. Yeah, he was trying to put a suit on, but that fucking situation, you're going to be bloody afraid. You see a space suit, you're going to put it on, right? You think everybody else is dead, you're like, you're going to panic. You're going to be like, fuck. You want to try and survive, you know? Ugh. I'm really, again, I'm really not sure on Taron. I really don't know. 
It was a good episode. I feel sorry for Graf, but he sacrificed himself so literally everybody else. I'd say everybody else could escape. Like, the other people ran, but they could have gotten everybody else on the Liberator and then put them, taken them to another planet, couldn't they? Everybody else ran, but they fucking died. So no other ship get lift off. Everybody, literally every other one of the slaves died. They literally could have tried to get at least some of those people on the Liberator with them. Save some people. They basically let everybody else die. They didn't even try. Like say, this way, our ship's over here, type thing. That annoyed me. Like they could have done that. But like I don't understand about like the scientific things and stuff like that. I think I got an a D in science in my GCSEs. Which I, I don't remember anything from it. My brain doesn't work as well as it used to, and it never worked well in the first place, so eh, well, no fucking chance of understanding it. But I like little bits like that. With, even though I don't understand the science, I like having the science there. It's cool about the wormhole stuff. Black hole, not wormhole. Wormhole, no, that's it. Different. I'm getting Star Trek on the brain now. Yeah, I like that episode like better. Like the last one again was all right, nothing special. I like this one more. Definitely like this one more. But I'm, I'm so angry at all at so angry at all at like that episode went freaking quick. It didn't feel anywhere near that long. Like I got fully into it, and like I checked the the time, and I was like. Well, technically, apparently, I'm still one minute and 11 seconds from the end. When I looked, it was like five minutes from the end of this file. The rest of it's going to be credits. So, like, it was just, I, it wasn't so freaking quick. But that's because, that wasn't because it, like, I was, just, I don't know, but it's just, I got into it. I was into it, and I'm glad I got into it. Because, like, it's good in that way. Intrigued by the possibility of a conflict. Really, once they don't like there was again, there was little bits of Tarrant I like the fact that he wanted to go to the planet for Groff and that, and the way he was. I liked how he was telling partial truths, not complete truths, kind of like Dana did a bit on the ships. Then there was no human humanoid on this on this ship called Orak, and there never was. Not lying. And then he did the same thing. I liked those aspects of him. He's very fucking clever. And that. But it's some of it I don't like. And it's not just because I really like Avon. It's just some stuff I don't like. And I'm hoping I grow to like him more. I hope so. Hopefully there'll be a part of the like an episode where they or an episode where it just happens a little like that like changes them like a character development type aspect. Don't know. But we've got a potential new enemy that might appear again at some point and might never appear again. Please do not tell me if he ever appears again. I do not want to know any spoilers. Like, I don't know a lot, but I already feel like I know even just like the fact that I know Blake, um, Blake comes back at some point. And the fact that I know Avon and Villa get to the end of the series. Like, I, I feel like that's too much, you know? I do not want to know any more at all. Like I don't know, want to know if any other cast members leave or anybody else joins. I don't want to know. But I really hope I grow to like him more. Like this episode gave me, like, yeah, there's a bit to frustrate me the way he was just taking control and stuff like that. I was like, excuse me, consult the others before you make a decision. You've not been there long enough to take fucking control. I know you've done officer training, but no. That didn't help me like him. But there was other bits that made me like him. So I'm very conflicted, but I'm still mostly leaning like it's like if it was like a like a like a kind of like with like petrol or speed up, like stuff like that. You know what I mean? Where you got like full empty type thing. Or like if you're in the middle, it's like I'm not. I don't, I'm indifferent to him. And then you got, I really like him, really dislike him. I'd say I'm more on the dislike side of things, but I'm further to the, in, 
I'm I'm further along to the indifferent and liking than I was before. So like it that in the middle is indifferent. That way is like really liking him. That way is hating him. Before I was like not hating. I was I've never been hating, but like I was a bit like that, and now I've got a bit more towards the middle. But then some aspects I really don't know how I fucking feel. Like I'm trying to explain it, but I don't know. Like I don't know if that made sense. It's just oh. It might be because one, my brain's not working the way it is. I can't accurately explain it. Not 100 percent well. Like I feel a bit tender at the top of my mouth, but nowhere near as bad as I did. It might be I'm still fucking pissed off at Aura. Or it might be the fact that it's now five uh, six minutes past midnight. And I again, as I said at the beginning, black asleep. But I don't know. You shall see. I'm interested to see, again, more conflict, stuff like that. I really hope that um, Tarrant tries to work with them. Like, Avon, A okay, Avon does think of himself, but even he's adapted to working with the crew, you know? He does care. He did check on Villa and stuff like that. He doesn't show he cares. He does, it's like self-preservation part is still there. But he's adapted, you know, he has changed in his own way. I'm hoping that kind of thing lays Tarrant and he consults people more instead of just going, like, taking command. I don't like that. Because to me, the person that's earned command out of everyone is either Avon or Callie, to me. Villa, okay. I don't feel like he's a real in command type person. He does better with orders, although he does think for himself sometimes. But to me, it should be Avon or Callie. It's more right to be captain, take the Blake role, you know? Tarrant needs to earn it more. And I'm hoping he comes to realize that more, or they manage to come to an agreement or something. Again, again I like conflict. I don't want there to be no conflict. But he needs to ease off and lighten up. Not lighten up. None of that makes feels accurate to what I want to say. I just can't get my words out. I'm fucking tired. My head's starting to hurt. So, stuff like that. I need fucking sleep. Now I'm thinking about this and stuff like that. I'm starting to try to, not to yawn. So I'm going to wrap it up. My head is re actually really starting to hurt and I'm thinking about it. But yeah, that was. I enjoyed that more. It went far too quick. Really annoyed at Aura right now, or annoyed putting it lightly. Fucking pissed off with him. I'm annoyed at Tarrant, but I'm also liking him a bit more in some ways. And I'm intrigued. I'm annoyed that they didn't pick up any of the other people that were there. They literally could have. I'm intrigued by the... I've, I've forgotten now what his name is. T-H and, and uh, look, uh, Fran. Tharn? Tharn. I said, I knew there was two A's. But I'm intrigued by whether or not we might see him again. Again, no spoilers on that regard. I would like to be surprised by that person, whatever, appearing again. Yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think of this episode. What did you think at this point in time? What did you think of um, Tarrant? Again, no spoilers for the future. Yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again for the next episode. Bye.